Welcome back to OC Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing ARC. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a five digit who has been gaining quite a bit of rank lately. Good job on that. They have 17,000 play count and an above average hits per play ratio. For their top plays, they mostly stick with no mod, but occasionally they throw on some DT to spice things up. Also, they straight up do not retry maps. And I really do mean this, they do not retry maps. In fact, their most played beat map is just 42 plays. Overall, I think I'm gonna give your profile a 7 out of 10. Welcome back to OSU Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Polsky1. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave a username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5-digit tourney player who is currently trying to D-rank. They have 51k play count and an average hits per play ratio. Like I mentioned earlier, they are a tourney player. They have played in a whole 37 tourneys and took home 3 first place wins. Based on their top plays, I can tell they play a little bit of everything. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.8 out of 10. Good luck in your upcoming tourneys. Welcome back to OSU Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Benz. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5-digit who just hit their peak rank of 21k, and probably will keep gaining rank based on their graph. They have 55k play count and an above average hits per play ratio. They also have pretty good profile lack. They seem to play a little bit of everything, but seem to have a little bit of a bias towards hidden. They also got their first 400 earlier this month. Congrats on that. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.6 out of 10. Welcome back to OSU Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Dictator. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, Leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5-digit sitting at their peak rank of 44k. They have 82k play count and very good profile act. They really seem to like Hidden Hard Rock, considering almost all of their top plays have that mod combo. And, uh, something tells me they really like Dramatic Cycle. Like, a lot. They are also from Minnesota, so they get bonus points for that. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.65 out of 10. Welcome back to OC Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing ZZZ Leapy, otherwise known as Jaden. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username and profile link in the comments below. He is a 5-digit who just hit his peak rank of 13k. He has 79k play count and a slightly above average hits per play ratio. He has a good mix of scores in his top plays, with a lot of Nomad and Double Time scores, along with a few Hard Rock plays. He has done a little bit of retry spamming, with his most played beatmap being Cold Green Eyes coming in at 546 play count. Overall, I'll give your profile an 8.2 out of 10. Welcome back to Ozu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Fall Mix. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5 digit with an amazing amount of SS, S, and A ranks. They have 60k play count and an above average his per play ratio. They also have very good profile act and a whole bunch of ranks. They have a little bit of everything in their top plays, with every score having very, very, very good act. They also have a whole bunch of medals, with 189 obtained so far, putting them right at 60% medal completion. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.6 out of 10. Welcome back to OSU Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Hoax. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5-digit who is probably going to hit 4-digit very, very soon. They have an average hits per play ratio and 102,000 play count. They also have just below 99 profile apps. Their top plays all have hidden, and when I say all, I really do mean all. There is no plays in their top 100 without hidden. They also seem to be a bit of a stream player, with most of their top plays being stream maps. They also have dabbled in flashlight, as you can see in their pin scores. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.6 out of 10. Welcome back to OSU Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Kater. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave a username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5-digit who is sitting right around 23k. They have 75k play count and an above average hits per play ratio. They also have very good profile act, coming in just below 99%. Their top plays are nearly completely nomad, 
ranging from 254 pp to 386 pp. They don't really retry spam much outside of Tsukinami, which they have over 400 attempts on. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.9 out of 10. Welcome back to OC Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Dever. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave a username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5-digit sitting right around 32k who has been gaining rank very consistently lately. They have 59k play count and an average hits per play ratio. They have quite the variety in their top plays with plenty of different mod combos and types of maps. They also have a very impressive score on the history of Japan, which is actually number 30 on the map's leaderboard. I really, really am a fan of the variety of maps you play. You also are like crazy good for your rank, like I'm actually kind of losing it about how good you are. I'm going to give your profile an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing only Hadley. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave a username or profile link in the comments below. Hadley has just hit 3 digit, huge congrats on that. He has a 120k play count and an average hits per play ratio. He also has pretty good profile act. His top plays are mostly DT and most of them are actually really recent. He also just got his first 700. Hadley! Please, just delete Haramachi Clover, you don't need to keep playing that. Please. Overall, I would give your profile a very solid 8.7 out of 10. Welcome back to OC Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Larcy. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 4 digit, sitting at 7.7k. They have 101,000 play count and a really solid hits per play ratio. They are a speed player, which can be seen throughout all of their pin scores. Honestly, the things that they put DT on are just crazy, it's mind blowing. Their top plays are also very impressive, mainly being made up of DT scores. They also have a very impressive Tower of Heaven DT FC, being their first 500 PP play. They retry maps a little bit, but there isn't really an issue with that, especially considering they've been playing since 2017. Higher map play counts are just gonna happen over years and years of playing the game. Overall, I would give your profile an 8.5 out of 10. Welcome back to OC Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Konzid. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave a username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5 digit sitting at their peak rank of 15k. They have a pretty nice hits per play ratio and nearly 47k play count. Their pin scores all are insanely impressive, with most of them being speed scores. Their top plays also follow this pattern, with almost every map being a fast burst or stream map. They also play quite a few tourneys, with 17 total tourney plays so far. You honestly are doing so many cool things in the game, and I have mad respect for the speed grind. Overall, I'm going to give your profile an 8.4 out of 10. Welcome back to OC Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Tofa. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username and profile link in the comments below. They are a 5 digit sitting right around 23k with almost 6.8k total PP. They have 45k play count and an above average hits per play ratio. Their profile act is also very good, coming in on the higher end of things with over 98%. Their top plays seem to be largely made up of nomad maps, but Tofa is still no stranger to DT. Based on their most played beat maps, I can tell they seem to really like stream maps and I am a big fan of stream players. Overall, I would give your profile a 7.7 out of 10. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be actually re-reviewing Eric, otherwise known as Alex. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave a username or profile link in the comments below. I will also link his original review in the description. When I originally reviewed his profile, he was around 1.2k, and he has since nearly cut his rank in half. He has gained 10k play count since his last review, now coming in at 129k overall play count. He has gotten 6 new top plays since he was last reviewed, including his first, second, and third 700 PP plays. He has also gotten 6 first place ranks. Now, originally, I gave your profile an 8.2 out of 10, but now, after this re-review, I'm going to give you an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Will Ramos, otherwise known as Quack. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, 
leave your username or profile link in the comments below. Quack actually posts on YouTube and streams on Twitch, so I will link all of his socials in the description below. Also, his birthday just passed, so make sure to wish him a happy late birthday in the comments below. He is currently sitting at 4 digit, right around the 7k mark with 8.6k PP. He has 96k play count and a very good hits per play ratio. His top plays are mostly DT maps, but trust me, he could do no mod pretty well as well. He also maps quite a bit. And honestly, all of his maps are fantastic. I would highly recommend checking any of them out. Overall, I would give your profile an 8.6 out of 10. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Kendrick Lamar, otherwise known as Kendall. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They have just broken past the 5 digit barrier, congrats on that Kendall. They have 56k play count and an around average hits per play ratio. They have almost exclusively DT scores in their top plays, with almost all of them being above the 300 PP mark. They also literally just got their new top play on Electrodynamics, coming in at 461 PP. They hardly retry spam, which I find very cool when you realize their top plays all have pretty decent act and are mostly FCs. Kendall, I'd give your profile a very solid 8.6 out of 10. Why did you change your username to Kendrick Lamar though? <laughs> Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Jaden. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a five digit and I'm just gonna let their graph speak for itself. They have 18K play count and a very high hits per play ratio. They also have a badge, which is very cool. They are a tourney player, but they sadly don't have anything linked where I can see their full tourney history. But based on how many tourney banners they have, safe to say they play in a lot. They don't farm much, which makes their top 100 very, very, very spread out. To put this in perspective, their first top play is 463 PP, but their 100th top play is only 160 PP. That is a wild range. Overall, I would give your profile an 8.1 out of 10. I really, really wish that you had more info about your tourney history publicly available though. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Cyan. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a five digit who's sitting right at 21K with 6.9K total PP. They have 48K play count and a slightly above average hits per play ratio. They also have very good profile act, coming in above 99% overall and a very high max combo. They have a pretty lengthy tourney history, having played in 20 total tourneys and placing first in four of those. They are for sure a hard rock player with almost all their top 100 scores being hidden hard rock. They have also given mapping a try with five graveyard beat maps created between February 2021 in May 2023. Overall, I'm going to give your profile an 8.1 out of 10. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Citaloprim. Remember, if you want to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 4 digit sitting right at 5.9k with 8.9k total PP. They have just below 50k total play count and a very good hits per play ratio. Their profile act is also on the higher end of things. They are a stream player, mainly sticking with Nomad, but they occasionally play Hard Rock and DT. I find it a little bit silly and notable that their number one and number two top players are both Sidetrack Day. They have tried out mapping with four graveyard beat maps. Overall, I would give your profile an 8 out of 10. I really hope you FC Sidetrack Day soon. Welcome back to Osu Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Jellium. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a four digit sitting right at 5k, and I also feel it's worth mentioning they play every game mode and are decently ranked in every single one. They have 12k play count and a very good hits per play ratio. Their profile act is also great. They mostly play DT and Nomad, and I also feel like it's worth mentioning their top play is a whopping 623 PP, and their 100th top play is only 222 PP. That is a crazy gap. They also have a bunch of medals with 251 total, putting them around 80% medal completion. In case all that wasn't enough already, they also map a lot. They have 36 graveyard beat maps, 
and 8 that are currently pending. I'm gonna give your profile a 9.4 out of 10. Welcome back to OSU Profile Reviews. Today, I will be reviewing Fiera. Remember, if you want a chance to be reviewed next, leave your username or profile link in the comments below. They are a 5 digit who is sitting right around 36k, which is also right by their peak rank. They have 51k play count and an average hits per play ratio. They also have exactly 99 overall hit accuracy. They play mostly no mod with a few double time and hidden scores as well. They retry spam an average amount for their rank. Overall, I would give your profile a 7 out of 10.